Well, for some parents, finding outlets for their special needs children can be challenging, but there's a place in the Santan Valley that's using horse therapy that's putting smiles on kids' faces one hoof print at a time. Photojournalist Zane Shep has the story. You know, I think this is a very peaceful place that gives people hope. All right. Nice job. Good job. A lot of the families that come here have already uh, participated in traditional therapy. So going to an office, working in the school or something like that. They come out here and they see basically the kids light up. They're excited. They run all over the place. They have a great time and then they get on the horse. It's just amazing. It just changes their lives. My main job to do with him is to make sure that his coat looks all pretty. I think I'd be exactly where I was before. Just a very sad, quiet little girl. Brianna was about 19 months old when our car accident happened, and if you excuse me, but to this day when I talk about it, it still makes me a little bit teary. We were heading down a major thoroughfare and someone pulled out in front of me from the right. And at the time, I remember as her mother seeing that the accident was gonna happen and it was just her and I in the car and thinking, oh my gosh, because I knew that the impact was gonna be a big one because we were going about 45, 50 miles an hour when we hit the truck that pulled out in front of us. After the accident, my little baby that was happy and cheerful all the time went to this child who cried all the time, that couldn't cope, and it was really hard. Brianna's done really well. She's been working on her impulse control. We've been working on feelings identification, communication. When a child has a difficult time socially to have an environment where they can come and be themselves, they don't get judged on social aspects. And it allows them to learn and to grow socially, to learn to be more socially appropriate in an environment that's comfortable and non-judgmental. Not only does she get to come out and have fun just riding the horses and being with the horses, when she's with the horse, it gives her a time just to forget stress and everything else that's going on. So it's learning but it's really fun and she may not even know that she's learning things. Here it doesn't matter what you do or what how you act or how you look. All that matters is that you have the love of horses just like everybody else here. Ready, aim, shoot! Nice job! We have four children um, with special needs and they all come here. We have three with autism all on different um, areas of the spectrum and one's nonverbal but this year he has started talking and I'm sure it's because he's on the horse. We have seen so many positive changes for our kids since we've been coming out here. It's something they enjoy to do, they enjoy it. Um, it's not like forced on them um, and they just love being out here. And also what I want you to do when you bring your hand back to the left, I want you to lift it off the horse. A lot of the families that I work with, particularly the ones that come out and, and work with me, a lot of times the equine assisted therapies are adjunct therapies, so the children might be getting other therapies as well. This is one, because it's experiential, because it's fun, it can feel to them sometimes like their whole world revolves around different therapies, different things that are going on. This is a chance for them just to come out and have a good time. We also get to include the families as well. Now you sit here, you come out, and you see the kids having a fit. Maybe they don't want to get on the horse, and they get on the horse, and they're just at peace. It's kind of a peaceful, happy place. I think that's probably the most important thing for me, is serving these families and giving them hope. And Hoofbeats with a Heart is open seven days a week. It offers in-home therapy and on-site therapy, along with scholarship programs to help out families in need. We have more information on SonoranLiving.com.